I'm Chris Miller, and I'm the CTO of IDK America, and we're very pleased to be here at ISC 2018. And some of the things that we're bringing here are uh, important elements in what's happening today in ProAV. And one of the first things that we'd like to introduce you to is our IP Ninjar. Our IP Ninjar is a 10G based, 4K capable AV distribution uh, solution uh, that can scale from point to point all the way up to very large matrix sizes. And because of the uh, implementation that we've uh, created here and with the level of control that we have over the system, it's possible to uh, take care of even very large uh, footprint uh, implementations of the system. We can go campus-wide and uh, we can actually create virtual matrix elements over which people have individual control. Uh, IDK has uh, been working with the SDVOE codec for approximately five years. We are, I think, one of the very first adopters of the SDVOE technology. And uh, IDK has been serving the uh, Japan market space for 30 years. And the Japan market space is a very demanding market space. Uh, the expectation for perfection is quite high. And over the years that we've been addressing the AV community in Japan, we've been focused on taking care of making the product function just the way that uh, the, the Japan pro AV community expects it to function. And it's important to mention that because one of the skill sets that we've developed is signal acquisition. IDK's ability to acquire signals and manage signals from diverse sources uh, is second to none. And part of the reason for our having uh, accomplished that, again, is to satisfy the, the market, pace, market space in Japan. And now the rest of the world becomes the beneficiary of the focus that we've placed on developing that skill set. So we're bringing to the rest of the world something that's been appreciated and known about in Japan for quite some time. So moving from the baseband domain and from HDMI and DVI and digital video, we are now taking that same level of focus and prowess into the IP domain. And so we've, we've brought a, a slightly different implementation of the SDVOE codec to the market, where the codec itself is surrounded by a CPU environment of our own development and that provides a higher level of control over uh, features like HDCP management and EDID management. And it gives us some abilities that other implementers don't have that can be a huge advantage, especially today for uh, integrators who may be uh, very cost conscious and who are minimizing their team size and so forth. It's a huge advantage to be able to monitor system performance from off-site. Uh, in this way, an integrator may be able to maintain awareness of uh, quite a few installations without needing to be physically on site or to place their resources on site. So the IP Ninjar system, being IP based, provides uh, the ability to gain access in real time to the performance at, at the node level of the system. So it's possible, for instance, for somebody to know that a video source has suddenly disappeared from the network and uh, be able to affect uh, some sort of corrective action in that regard. Uh, this is something that, that was uh, perceived as having great value in a recent uh, installation that was, that was done in the U.S. at uh, Yale University, at the law school at Yale University. And for the integrator, it was critical for them to have off-site visibility to system performance and to set up SNMP trapping and so forth so it's possible to alert uh, individuals in the area of a possible system issue. We're having a, a wonderful show and you know we're uh, I guess it's really our third sort of significant presence here at ISC and contrast uh, sort of contrasting this year versus last year uh, we're getting great traffic and I think we're seeing a higher level of interest from people who want to migrate from traditional AV into the IP domain. So uh, we've been very pleased with, uh, especially today, with, with the, the crowd that we've attracted. Many people have been specifically interested in the IP Ninjar. And of course, many people are still interested in traditional baseband solutions, something else that, that we take great pride in uh, creating solutions for. That's a great question. I think that we see, um, we, we see a, a mixture of end users, uh, integrators, 
uh, sometimes we see, uh, in fact this time I think we've seen many people who are interested in uh, learning if they can carry the product in their region. So we, we see quite a mixture and uh, I think that because of the way that IDK has evolved and because of our DNA, we're probably most attractive to technical people because we can we can speak to them as the manufacturer, as the developer, and answer their their questions, and we can get into we can drill down into the details, and and perhaps explore things that they've had challenges with and so forth. And, and because we develop and manufacture the products ourselves in Japan, we actually can answer the questions ourselves. It's unlike many others. There are many great products here. Many of them are also you know rebranded and not necessarily manufactured by those who represent them here at the show. So, um, yeah, that's a great question. Thank you.